We welcome August with grateful hearts. We thank God for giving us this new month in His mercy. All praise and all thanksgiving be yours, O Lord of mine. Yes, indeed, all praise and all thanksgiving belongs to God. The psalmist tells us in Psalm 71, selected verses, In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. Oh, my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, for my youth. On you I depend from birth, for my mother's womb you are my strength. This is my prayer for you, beloved, that God would never allow you to be put to shame, that God will deliver you and rescue you from every snare, every attack, that God will save you, will be your rock of refuge, he will be that mighty stronghold, he will be for you the Savior, because he comes to redeem you. You go to the scriptures, Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 following, Paul is talking about striving to gain the resurrection, and he says that, not that I have already obtained this, or I am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Jesus Christ has made me his own. Brethren, I do not consider that I have made it on my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind me and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. This month is a month I call pressing on towards the goal. Paul is giving us a paradigm. He says that not that I have already obtained this, or I am already perfect. But what I do, one thing I do, one thing, that I forget what lies behind, and I strive forward, I stream forward to what lies ahead, and I press on towards them. This paradigm is so important. From the beginning of the year up to now, You've had certain achievements, certain disappointments, certain breakthroughs, certain failures. If we are using Paul's paradigm, Paul is saying that forget that. Don't rest on your laurels, but also forget about disappointments and the aches and pains. And focus. Strain towards the goal. Press on towards the goal. Strive towards the goal. So this is a month of pressing on towards whatever goal you have set for yourself. Asking for divine favor and divine insights. But even as you are pressing on, this press will be a purposeful one. One that will bring results. So let's focus, let's concentrate. Let's not be distracted by our failures, by our past. But let's keep looking to the future with confidence. You know the dam, the river. When the river overflows, it banks. What happens? The area around becomes a swamp. But when the river is dammed, it's controlled, it becomes a source of power. So when we are not distracted, when we, are, we focus, oh, the power that we have, God will use it for his greater glory. So this month will be a good month for you. The psalmist reminds us, for you are my hope, O God. May God be your hope. May God be your trust. And tell God that, God, look, I have depended on you since I was born. And for my mother's womb, you are my strength. And may that strength be your portion as you go through the month of August. The Lord bless you and keep you.
The Lord let His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with kindness and give you His face. And as you press on in your work, as you press on your relationships, you have to God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day.